Hi, Aaron here. We're going to be talking about how to improve your singing voice. Now, I know that's kind of a, a broad topic, so I just want to narrow it down for this particular video um, to eliminating nasality, that, that really kind of annoying sound um, that, that is often in the voice, and just talk about kind of how to get rid of that and a little bit about that process and even give you an exercise at the end as well. So let's get right to it. Um, the, that, na that nasally kind of eh, that tone, what it does is it squashes the resonance, the, that kind of full big um, resonant tone that you want, it kind of squashes that down. It, it has an, an annoying quality that you don't really like in the first place and don't really want, but it also kills the resonance so you don't have that full kind of powerful sound as well. So how do we get rid of it? Where does it come from all that? It's primarily that nasal tone primarily comes from the soft palate. Now the soft palate, um, if you take your tongue and you can feel on the roof of your mouth, that's the hard palate right there. If you follow it back, back to there where it gets kind of like softer there, that's your soft palate. So the soft palate, when um, it's the, the that nasally tone, what happens is that that soft palate is is lowering. It's lowering excessively. And so um, actually try this with me. See if you can find it first of all. And then once you find it, give like a little yawn, like a oh. Notice what the soft palate does when you do a yawn. It raises way up and actually your throat kind of opens up too and your larynx lowers. The yawn is, um, it's a great way to kind of see where you need to be and, and what it needs to feel like kind of when you're singing. <clears throat> now, it's an exaggerated form. You don't want to sing like, oh, I mean, some opera singers do, but um, you don't want to necessarily sing like that, but you, you want that kind of motion where the soft palate is up a little. You're, you, you want your throat nice, nice and wide and, and then, um, your larynx to be pretty steady. Your larynx um, tends to raise up for um, for the higher notes, but you want to keep that relatively steady. So during that motion, you kind of feel the soft palate and, and what it does, how, how it raises up. Um, so uh, let me talk a little more about that. Now when it's down, what it does is um, like the NG sound, um, that consonant when you do sung, if you're singing the word sung or any NG sound, what it does is it cuts off um, go ahead and do an NG, and then try to blow out of your mouth. You can't because it blocks it blocks the air from coming out of your mouth. So all the air comes out of your nose, and so you're getting this kind of nasal tone. So when you're doing NG or um, even like a t, a t sound, that's that's different than the soft palate. But anytime your your tongue, the back of your tongue or the front of your tongue raises up to do a consonant sound, you want to get right back down where it's supposed to be, behind the teeth right there. That's where you're saying the best. So anyway, let's. I'm kind of going all over the place, but this is mainly talking about the nasality. So <clears throat> the NG consonant is something that um, you need to do, and that the the nose has that nasal sound has a function. I mean, you do want air coming out of your nose when you're singing, but primarily you want it coming out of your mouth. Your your sinus cavity, your nasal cavity, it is a resonator, but it's more of a kind of a secondary res resonator, and that's it's a resonator when you're in your head voice. I won't get into head voice and chest voice, but primarily you want the air coming out of your mouth. And so when it's mostly coming out of your nose, that's when the nasal sound comes. Um, and tr try this with me. This is, a, this is an exercise to kind of get you to feel what it feels like to raise and lower your soft palate. Plug your nose and you're going to get that kind of a nasal sound, right? Now see what you have to do, like just, just say like an E or something. So you're going, e try to get the nasal out of your voice. Watch you have to do. E Notice I got the, the nasal sound out of my voice without unplugging my nose. What I did is I raised my soft palate, so e give it a try a couple times and you'll kind of figure out how to raise up that soft palate. Now, you don't want your your soft palate raised too high because if it's too high you start sounding like Jimmy Stewart or you start sounding like Kermit the Frog. You don't want it way up there, but if it's lower you start sounding like like Kana, Lois from Family Guy or something. So you don't want it too low, you don't want it too high. There is a balance of where you want it. Chances are that if you're having this nasal sound in your voice, then it is typically too low and you need to raise it slightly. But again, if you raise it too much, it starts getting kind of weird sounding and um, it also uh, kills that natural kind of bell shape you have in the back of your throat that helps you resonate. So again, you don't want to go too high, 
If it's too low, that's where the nas nasality is coming, kind of coming from. So I want to give you an exercise real quick of how to, um, how to loosen up the sinuses and loosen up kind of the, the mask area right there and get a feel for that, that kind of nasal sound. And it'll help you when you are singing to, to kind of avoid that eh kind of sound. I call it the, the nair exercise. It's just um, on any scale, I, I'll just do a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So like... Um, you know, real eh, kind of that um, brassy kind of sound. But what that does is it, it'll loosen up here. And um, actually, that, that sound will help you get into your higher range. But I'll talk about that in a different video. But you can raise the note even. And you can keep climbing or whatever. But, um, Anyway, that's nasality. That's how to eliminate nasality. You don't want your soft palate up too high. You don't want it too low. You want it kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, so I've got, um, if you want to go to my site, I've got a bunch of more kind of tips and tricks and a bunch of information there. And I've actually um, recently recorded a video of how to sing high notes. I think it's like a 10 minute video, how to sing high notes um, more easily, but um, how to sing high notes more easily without the strain, which is really the goal. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. I'm Aaron. Um, oh, you can actually just click the link below.